inside the Nesbitt house. <laughs> I think he's calling a foul. <laughs> soccer is always on their TV. But Katie Nesbitt is more than just a fan. Me either working my job or this is me standing in the, the lineup at the beginning. She worked as a referee during the 2022 Men's World Cup in Qatar, one of only five women to do so. This was the first time that women had ever been selected, so I wasn't sure if this was actually something that could happen. Uh, so to see my name and five other women's names on that list was an incredible moment. Katie started refereeing in middle school as a summer job. Eventually, she moved on to work for the Rochester Rhinos, where her skills started to get noticed. I work really hard on and off the field, and I think that's kind of just paid off. And... It's that hard work that brought Katie to one of her proudest moments, being an assistant referee during the England versus Senegal game in round 16 of the World Cup. Being part of the game, um, it's probably similar to the players. There's just a, a bit of a high that we enjoy. We we get to still kind of be involved and I think that that just keeps us going. Millions of fans tuned in to watch the World Cup. Katie's parents among them, watching every game with their daughter on the sidelines. I've always known that if she puts her mind to something, she'll do it. And, but the thrill is beyond words. Looking back on pictures from her time in Qatar, Katie feels like she's experiencing the event all over again. It kind of brings back all the emotion of the day, you know, uh, Emotions I didn't even get to experience in the moment because it was my job. So now for me, it's just I get to feel all those special feelings. Then. Just because the World Cup is over doesn't mean Katie is stopping. She hopes to referee during the upcoming Women's World Cup. Rachel Nimi, Spectrum News.